I would like to thank the Chairman, the Ranking Member, and the Committee Members for inviting me to testify today. I have a number of people here with me today that I'd like to introduce. First, our advisor, Dr. Gary Green of UCLA, one of America's leading experts on performance-enhancing substances. Steve Peserb from the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Donald Hooten, who has been here before, the head of the Taylor uh, Hooten Foundation. Peter Angelos, the owner of the Baltimore Orioles, who has been at the table uh, for the last two rounds of labor negotiations. Randy Levine, the president of the New York Yankees, and Stan Kasten, the president of the Washington Nationals. On March 30, 2006, I asked Senator Mitchell con to conduct a comprehensive investigation of the illegal use of performance-enhancing substances in baseball. I decided to do this investigation so that no one could ever say that baseball had something to hide because I certainly did not. Baseball accepts the findings of this investigation and baseball will act favorably on its recommendations. Before I turn to the Mitchell Report, it is important to recall the progress we have made. Baseball now has the strongest drug testing program in professional sports. Our penalty structure is the toughest. We have year-round unannounced testing, including testing on game days, both before and after games. We use the Olympic certified laboratories in Montreal and UCLA for our testing, and the day-to-day -day administration has been delegated to an independent program administrator. A whole generation of players has grown up under our strict minor league testing policy, which is entering its A season. As a result of all this, steroid use in baseball today has dropped dramatically from more than 90 violations in the 2003 survey test to just two steroid positives in 2006 and three in 2007. This improvement is similar to what we have observed in our minor league program, where positive test results declined from 9% in 2001 to less than one half of 1% 1 in 2007. Nonetheless, I felt a need to appoint Senator Mitchell to deal with the past. Nothing is more important to me than the integrity of the game of baseball. Baseball needed to fully, honestly, and publicly confront the use of performance-enhancing substances by players. I knew that an investigation would be an extraordinarily difficult undertaking. I knew that an investigation would be painful for all of those associated with the sport. No other sport 